Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive slash beat the game on the highest difficulty with a hundred mods that make my life a living hell. And today we gathered to uh, pay back a bit on the bio lancers of this world. We have a high bio faction in here. Uh, personally one of the factions that I like. We also got a Rift Keeper in here. Uh, something that I personally completely do not like. And it's time for Operation Morbid Hero where we're seeing another um, alien ruler. So we bring our A-team as always, uh, which is going to be fun. Uh, we got Dilly G, Euler, Grell, Sonar, Hogbite. And Shadow is going to sub in as always because I need Banish to kill whatever alien ruler exists. Uh, in terms of just loadout, Diddy G now has gotten the Icarus suit so that we can get to that sweet, sweet um, high ground. The rest of the team pretty much runs the same equipment as always. We got uh, the chosen weapons as you can see. Darkland Sarashi and <coughs> the uh, assault rifle from the uh, Warlock. Plus we got two portable turrets which will be helpful for us. And a couple of ammunition plus of course Hogbite makes himself immune against everything. So we're definitely good, well equipped. Uh, now it's just a matter of asking whether or not I can uh, pull this off without any interruptions. But it is the A-Team, it should actually be a somewhat smooth mission. Famous last words. Once in position, approach the designated target Good, we're going to approach the designated target with Ultra Caution. Team comes in and we're landing. Let's go boys. Well, we got high ground over high ground over low ground, and that is a really good start. As you order, Which brings me to Shadow, An alien patrol. who in return could move to here. And we're seeing a couple of bio assault troopers, heavy bio troopers, and so on. It's a good start. Euler takes full cover high ground. Sonar as a frontliner. For now, sticks with him. Dilly G can take half cover because it's considered full cover for him. Hogbite definitely needs to get a bit closer. And Grell. Tell you what, we need a backline as well. Grell oftentimes is indirectly participating. Okay. Keep in mind this could also be a bio faceless one of them. You never know, right? My life is in your hands. I found a patrol. Shadow found another patrol. Before we're rushing too far in, let's just position ourselves here, block the entrance upwards and just appreciate that there is another patrol. Euler takes the central spot over here. Sona moves down. 
24 hit points, 4 armor. What a beast. We march towards enlightenment. Okay, look, Dilly Jeep needs good aiming angles as well. How about we're taking them over here? That'll still be high ground against most people. Hmm. The other alternative is up here. Heading out. There are some dead spots because we can't fully see down here. Potentially up here isn't a bad spot either. All right, Grell. Good copy. Moving on target. Moves over here. I'm on it. I'm on it. Scanning. No one will slip past. We could start this pack by just moving in and appreciating how much they are going to suffer. And I'll tell you what, why not? To here. Careful that we're not directly in range of anyone. The trap is set. Putting out the claymore. Putting out a claymore and the head to use run and gun for such a benign situation, but it is actually quite helpful to pull them all and then. Get a good uh, kill zone in. There we go. takes a better look because we don't want any of uh, these dead angles to be in our way when we're cleaning up. Didier's perfectly prepared him. And now it's time for the Euler Beast to wreak havoc. A berserker back there. Need to be careful. It might be the alien queen, the berserker queen. Yep, right there. 
he woohoo's it. I'm not sure if charging in is a good idea. This could trigger the. It could trigger the alien queen. So I'll play it safe. Yeah, there is the berserker queen. Pretty sure it's her. These guys will have heard about it and might. No, we may just do a big fat kill zone overwatch. Grell gives an overwatch to Sonar by handing over a protocol. And then places one of our very expendable towers to the front line. Bitch in return moves just a tiny bit forward and then overwatches. And Hogbite's not really in his element at this point, but we're going to get him there. Did I or did I not tell you that there is going to be the Queen? Not yet, not yet. We're going to get her. First of all, we need solish, a uh, solid, not solish, solid uh, chain shot, softening her up. She's about to flee already. Yeah, well, two of our uh, soldiers have been <coughs> have been impacted, but Hogbite doesn't give a damn about the knockback. He just continues to rage on her. I need a new suit. Damn. 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 And. Damn. And damn. And she should be down. Good job. Shadow has done his job for this mission. <laughs> Tigan, of course, if you say so. gives Valen a hard time. Good, we're a parrying. And Grell moves over to the quasi shooting front line, which is okay. We're overwatching. Good. Well, one of the biggest uh, threats is Im eliminated immediately, which is good. I like what I'm seeing. Um, Euler gets some healing. 
And we're just going to sit out the disorientation. Disorientation. I will go. Pick up loot. As in advanced hair trigger. Do we want to keep the turret? Our selected turrets, our own selected turrets can start to move forward. What is happening with the other selected turret? Okay, it's still dazed, maybe even stunned. It might be bugged because it was not expecting to be shattered. Good, Hogbite Overwatches. We could hack that thing. It's killing time. We could also just remove the super heavy turret. A death from above. Done. Moving to Overwatch. Back online. Free reload. On Overwatch. Okay. Miss the target. Daily misses a shot, which is rare. I think he really killed that uh, Salated turret, the Berserker Queen, just by stomping. That's interesting. Okay, need to take a short break. Be right back. Okay, back on track. Let's uh, engage with the Biotroopers. Let's generally engage with the enemies. Sell turret moves on uh, further and uh, sees one of those bio lancers standing there asking to be shot. Wow, it's so far away that not even Hogbite could reach them. Ouch. Well, that's a, that's a long way. Fortunately, the, uh, this guy will not die from a single sniper shot. Unless it is dead eye. Daddy G. Wow, crits for 25. Holy moly. Yep, another dead eye would be fantastic, but we don't have that. We have, however, the ability to soften the guy up. Daddy G is on fire today. We're playing it calm and collected. There is no need to rush in the only enemy uh, the only unit that they see is the selected turret and that gets a nice little eight protocol with threat, uh, threat assessment mind you moving out an alien scouting party shadow moves in you're near the target position and we can see the rift keeper this here by the way is a perfect remote start <clears throat> i'm trusting you i think this can be remote started Scanning. Got it 
Okay. Yeah, and we're just staying put. I'm curious that for once uh, the yellow alert <clears throat> doesn't even trigger the enemies. Oh yeah, well. Well. I tell you what, this is not a, now we fight in the open. a bad idea, at least uh, that's what I thought. And now I realize uh, the errors of my way. Tough call. If we leave Shadow up here, that might be dangerous. Uh, we could, however, get him up here. But then the remote start is not happening. Well, I think it will depend a lot on the question whether or not we can hack. Now is a good time to engage, don't you think, guys? Rift Keeper is there. We don't want to let the Rift Keeper uh, stick around. Running and gunning. Moving up. Let's shred the Rift Keeper. Ooh, nice hit. Good job, Sonar. <laughs> All right. Now we're talking. Hands over a teamwork to Sonar. That stupid Rift Keeper. Good. Haywire Protocol. Fifty fifty, come on. No, so close. Can't get this one. Yeah, I wish we could shift over one more action because the remote start here would really be helpful. It's four enemies, they go down. Uh. Okay, before we lament the situation any further, let's continue to harass the Rift Keeper. Who by now? Oh, hair trigger. Oh boy. Sonar is soloing the Rift Keeper. Think about it. Like all of this, the 12 armor, he brought him down to 4 hit points. Holy smokes. If we were to move a bit further. We could likely hit everyone up there oh yeah that ooh, that would set it up nicely currently Euler is not really involved in a way that he's too far back I hope it's worth it can always go back to high high ground. Yeah, that wow, that would be good. Rip 
them to shreds. Good stuff. Good stuff. The explosion was just the icing on the cake. gets an action because Dilly only needs one in order to be dangerous. Noila could theoretically just do this and whoever comes in gets melted. I am disappointed. Hopbite can't really join yet. But he will have time to do that. Okay, setting up the sky. Wonderful. Oh, the turret is a beast. Wow. Good. Now it's Dilly's uh, time to shine. This is still considered high ground, I think. Yep, can't deflect if you can't see the shooter. They're from above, bitch. Oh, you got it, Dilly. You're the man. Good job. No need to be modest this time. You absolutely got it. As you direct. There is a spectre. There are too many enemies. Which means Shadow is going to do what Shadow does best. Weaseling away. That sounded too harsh. It's not that Shadow is a weasel, but I just don't want to lose anyone by recklessly charging in. Okay, bit unexpected. Spawns an entire commando. But Dilly is ready as always. <laughs> yeah, love it. Reaper. I'll make it clean. Okay, well, um, I mean, look. We're middle, uh, we're in the middle of a troublesome fight.
Let's make sure that we are getting that Wrath Commando down as well. Good. That's some solid normal damage. Rift Keeper goes into its stupid stasis, but that's okay. Well, it's not really okay. It still is absolutely infuriating, but it was to be expected. One. Two. I'll just shut up for now and accept that that's the way it is nowadays. Everybody and their mother and sister seem to have sustain. Wasn't aware that the raptor folks also have sustain. over here <clears throat> time for the next teamwork I want Dilly to not go through all of his auto loaders instead let's start to uh, to kill these guys here, death from above. You want some more? Oh yeah, they want some more. 14, he's not ready to die yet. 17. What is wrong with you guys? How do I deal sufficient moderate damage? Hmm, good question. I think Sonar needs some uh, some more actions, and we need to prep the guys. That's only sixty three percent chance to hit. We still could deal damage to the Raptor Commando, but he would... ...just go into... Uh, ...stasis again. Enemy eliminated. 10 to 11, can't do that. Look, I could start with that Bio Viper. We're immune to bio explosions. I think we're just going to do that. Reaper is not triggering with her, but we can now finish her.
she will explode and no damage will happen to um, to sonar no 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 we were immune to acid damage what is even going on We have more free reloads yes we do okay cool well that will help us because now we need some extra damage there you go let's hammer home the message on that bio zerker that you shall not uh, fool with XCOM. Can't reach this guy with a capacitator discharge, which tells me we're a little bit far off with Grell. position ourselves here with Dilly G and then I think that would not be a bad idea. Icarus jump into full cover. You know what? If we fan fire that would actually kill him. Very good. Which leaves us with a bleeder and a stupid rapid commando who's potentially shooting into untouchable. Just to make sure that we're not risking anything, we're topping off the healing charts for sonar. Well, yeah, move, please move into Hogbite. That would be fantastic. Cool, what an absolute privilege to play with mods that immediately allow the enemy to rush into you. That's one of the things that I believe I will take out of future runs. It's it's not difficult, it's unfun, and there is a difference between difficult and unfun. Just rushing in and no counterplay whatsoever. Just straight up sucks. Like that for instance. Yep. And No, this is not an ideal situation.
Oh, nice. They got a Psy Strike. I wasn't aware of that. Okay. Nice. Well, all things considered, it was yet again an interesting turn. We're starting out with healing. Then Shadow sort of needs a place to not be immediately killed. Runs back. We're dealing with the bleeder in a second. Prepping this heavy trooper. Okay, it's time for Hawkbite to release the inner beast, as they say. And it is fitting, so fitting, uh, that he basically gets them all very good. Now we do have an explosion radius there. And I think... Oh, capacitor discharge doesn't have the range. I was about to say that almost looks like the perfect angle for a capacitor discharge. Moves up. Hits this guy. Your sustenance this time will not help you because I do have Blade Storm and I am going to use it. Dilly moves up and now it's up uh, to us to actually kill a couple of uh, these guys. Starting with a spark. No, you will mainly shut up because you have bothered us long enough. Dilly just goes to town. I think what we will do is we'll do a big fat face off, prepping every single one of them for his good friend Euler. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice, good. So, next up, Euler, who can currently, like, see these guys. Okay. Good. Let's start to clean up. The Prime Team is so good, like this is... The fights themselves are fun. It's so much better than fighting with amateurs. Because I have the tools available to... Clean a huge amount of enemies in one go. And the game seems to be spawning exactly that. Also, Death from Above is imbalanced but so is every single enemy here so 
It's sort of fighting fire with fire, or penis with a penis. I don't want to deal with this guy. Good, the Salated Turret continues to move in. We still have a free reload, so might as well overwatch. And I'll just parry, because it's Hogbite. So let's see what you're doing, uh, Mr. Super Smart, after your stasis. a small problem. Sad problem was we were disoriented so unfortunately we didn't have our blade storm. Good. Cannon moves up. Overwatch is uh, there. Grell moves up. Overwatch is... We can't re-cloak, so that's not going to work. Okay, apparently there are still aliens here. Oh, a specter. I see. Okay. Hawkbite, by the way, is the only person who can hit so hard that he makes a car explode. Let that thing uh, sink in for a second. That's like Chuck Norris levels of hitting hard. Okay, and I think we're nearing the end of this endeavor here. Just making sure that we're not ambushed. <clears throat> We're meeting in the middle. That is where all of the fun happens. still some aliens here but that can be neglected or we don't need any experience nor do we need any um, further corpses because we're not getting any uh, from this mission getting it done 
so the fight was not really close but it's good I mean think about it if the A team struggles something is wrong we got ourselves the Berserker Queen and we got ourselves a lot of kills actually so evic all And off we go. That was a slaughter fest. I like it how it was uh, super defensive. Uh, we were staying back the entire time, nothing was happening. And then from one moment to the other, um, completely without my doing, the uh, Reaper got, uh, got discovered. And it immediately became uh, a yeah very intense fight. And in order to make sure that that no one is really uh, at risk of dying, we were then engaging. And once the team engages, oh boy, it's a lot of damage that they are putting out. Uh, sonar with that rift keeper. I think the rift keeper will uh the rift keepers will think twice uh, from now on uh, onwards to even mingle with us like that was hardcore he single-handedly got him down to i think four hit points We have the Avatar project under control. This is not a condition how we can lose anymore. I don't think so. But what I do believe is we equally uh, can still uh, lose through uh, Fedo Crito. So that's dangerous. We need to look out for it. And we just got a new recruit filling the ranks. Welcome on board, Halop. Promoting you into medical protocol and revival protocol because best skills. Welcome to the team. And I think... Hmm, good question. Yeah, we're going with conditioning because you need to survive at least one shot. Bond level 2 uh, is done. Fantastic. Anything else we can do? No. Which is good. Any negative traits? <laughs> the med bay. Like six people are lying there. Uh, I don't even know if we do have additional uh, room in there. Cool. We got new income. Making contact. Fantastic. We need to build another radio relay. And then we're going to go and take the last uh, of the African states. That will give us pursuit of knowledge. Massive boost to research times, which is great. All right, here we go. Advent Exalted Custodian Powered Armor. Metician Battlesuit. A supremely powerful battlesuit designed by Tygen and the research team. While the suit might be a bit unwieldy, I believe. Um, this is random. Uh, someone non-native has typed that. Uh, I okay well it is what it is uh, I believe uh, it more makes up than it more than makes up for it by carrying a multitude of weapon systems while still being uh, an upgrade over the war suit in terms of durability hmm in clear terms I think that means it's OPS F and we're going to see some really really hardcore uh, stuff there. Let's research the Berserker Queen because we want upgrades there as well. And how do I get one of uh, these beautiful inventions 
four Elarium cores? Are you kidding me? How? Okay. Well, breathe in, breathe out. Let's embrace that uh, we need to gather a couple of Valerian cores because rest assured, I will build at least one of these things. And if it is the last, uh, the, uh, the last thing that I'm doing, I want a uh, Metian battle suit, which potentially is like actual powered uh, power armor. Good, plenty of people have recovered. Let's check out the black market just for sh and get uh, giggles because we want to get Elarium cores. Uh, a couple of good things here. Superior scope, actually not bad. Colonel Sharpshooter would be fantastic. Yeah, but I don't think that we can buy cores from here. We actually need to find them. Nonetheless, we're still buying the superior scope because that's a no-brainer. It is too good to not buy that. And we're back to building the radio relay. Unfortunately, not the intel to get that uh, kernel level sharpshooter. But that's okay. Uh, we still have enough soldiers. Uh, a lot of people have recovered from their wounds. No open trades. That's also fine. Soon we get signal boost. Murphy and Roby. Want to work on their bonding? That's cool. For the fifth time, I think. Let's see if we can make it happen. Berserker Queen almost done. Um, and in terms of soldiers... Reaper is ready, Templar is ready, all of these guys are ready. How do you guys feel about visiting this up here i think you would like me to do another ruler uh, we are currently on a roll and i absolutely love uh, royal rumbling enemies out so prime team will do that <sighs> Yeah, well. No way! Okay, listen, 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 listen. In about 8,000 hours worth of XCOM, that happened once to me. Clip it, put it on Reddit, and make sure that uh, you see... It happened on Legendary Difficulty and uh, mm, Bradford actually avoided interception. Setting course for In my personal experience, the chance of doing that is like less than 1%. At least for me, th this is uh, how it played out so far. Wow, cool. Okay, look, a um, couple of other thoughts here. We still have at least the mech, um, uh, the mech ruler left over. Uh, so again, incredibly powerful and dangerous alien. So might as well want to uh, go, uh, go and get that one. Secondly, um, there is at least one more uh, Viper Royal uh, left over, so we might run into yet another prince or another princess. Maybe even more of uh, those. Uh, mm, so those two are uh, mm, for certain uh, aliens that I know about. There might be more. I, I have no idea. Uh, but it's great to have the option to get one more out. 
and then hopefully we'll give uh, Advent a little bit more time to build another facility because they need another facility in order to even have another uh, alien ruler guarding said facility. What always happens is when you destroy a facility is there's I think a four weeks window um, grace period before they can like rebuild another facility. So the idea now is get that one down then wait four-ish weeks until they get the first uh, facility. Wait maybe another two, three weeks until they get the second facility. And then I think we have had enough uh, options for all of the rulers to spawn um, and for us to simply get through them. There is no other way of uh, getting uh, to them. And we anyways need a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, cores because there is stuff to build. There is stuff to build. Um, yeah, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the Prime team in their action, you will be in for a treat because we're up for another mission. But uh, the Prime team also needs support. Um, and one of the supports that you could do is give it a Prime like up um, and click that like button like you've never clicked it before. Thank you and have a good one. Bye bye.